Welcome in YouTube, it's your boy, The Crow Show. In today's video, I wanna talk about this. Is Windows of Opportunity a skill-based perk? Or does it promote autopilot looping from survivors? Can it be both, or is it a combination of the two, or is it something else entirely? I'm going to show you a few runs from a recent game I had. A couple of survivors had Windows of Opportunity equipped, and a couple of them didn't. We'll compare the runners to see how they behave differently in Chase. Before we proceed, Let's educate anyone who isn't aware of Windows of Opportunity. When you have the perk equipped, you will see the auras of breakable walls, pallets, and windows within 32 meters. You can use this information to chain tiles together, understand when there's a window or a pallet nearby. This is especially useful late in game, when you may be unaware of which pallets have been used. But can this perk be misused? Absolutely. I think a lot of perks in Dead by Daylight can be misused. So let's analyze a few runs from the Nancy I played against earlier today. And just a quick heads up, here's her build if you're curious. She was running Windows of Opportunity, Lithe, Botany Knowledge, and Strength and Shadows. So here we are, we're in chase with the Nancy, just landed a hit on her. A nice surprise attack, wasn't much to see there, but I start chasing her and she gets to this pallet, which it's not the safest pallet. It's kind of a 50-50, 60-40. And she chains into this tile, which is a god pallet. There's no way around it. I just have to break it and then continue my chase. And at this point, I'm not really that suspicious. I see her running by this tile. I'm like, well, I'll cut it this off here. And that's one of the joys of Wraith. You can just body block people and prevent them from getting to pallets and windows. Here, I think she makes a mistake. She drops that pallet. She got hit already. She probably shouldn't be dropping that pallet, which is a god pallet. <laughs> there is a little stutter there. This is a new update. And here we have to play a little bit of a mind game. And again, you're noticing Nancy is always very close to a pallet. So at this point, I'm kind of getting a little suspicious that she has windows of opportunity. I, I whiff on that pallet. I don't want to talk about it. And here, she really does outplay me. I mind game myself there. I should have tried uncloaking right away. She makes it to the pallet, stuns me. I think that's a skill based play right there. And here she goes. She runs to another pallet and drops it. Uh, I get absolutely just robbed of a hit there. She runs to the next pallet, drops it, gets hit anyway. And she's on death hook. Run into her a little bit later. I'm like, well, I've uh, got to maybe try to get her out of the game here. She's got life. <laughs> life is a very annoying perk. Life, I think, is a perk that's used for people who don't want to be in chase. So there she goes. She runs to another really good pallet and is just running, running, running. Another god pallet for Nancy. Nice thing is, though, these homies, they're not really cranking out gens, and Nancy is dropping every pallet, so I'm getting a chance to break them all. And this does come into play later in this game. This girl here did not have windows of opportunity, so she kind of doesn't really know where to go, doesn't know where resources have been used, and here she didn't really have much of a chance. I run to three of the homies. Nancy goes to body block. I really want to try to get that person who's injured. I leave the Nancy. I probably should chase her. But this Michaela, she actually did have windows. So she tries to make it to this pallet over here. Doesn't quite make it. Nobody's there for the save. She went up on hook. And then I find these homies in the basement. I'm like, wait, where's the person who just saved you? Guess who it is? <laughs> it was the Nancy. Her trial's over. I give her a little head shake. See how well you can run without a window or a pallet down here, homie. <laughs> so there's two generators left. I actually did win this trial. I think they fixed maybe one more. And again, this girl here does not have windows of opportunity. She doesn't know which resources have been used. Uh, maybe isn't fully aware of where the windows are at. It is a bad spot to be in. But the nice thing about these Windows gamers is they drop all the pallets and there's no resources to use mid to late game. 
So the rest of my chases were actually really easy because all of the pallets were gone. And that's why I'm wondering, is Windows skill-based? Uh, does it prevent, does it actually, uh, does it actually influence bad gameplay, which is just to autopilot, run from pallet to pallet and just drop pallets all willy-nilly? Um, I think that's maybe not a super easy question to answer, even though I've shown footage of a Nancy just running pallet to pallet pallet and just dropping them all. You know, at the end of the day, they did get down to one generator. They just didn't have many resources to use toward the end of the game. Now, when it comes to builds, when it comes to perks, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you can and can't use. I always say if it's in the game, by all means, please use it. You know, if people have complaints about perks you're using, they should be taking that up with behavior, not with you. It's in the game, it's all good, it's all fair game. I get super annoyed when I run into Windows users, uh, but you know what? The homie Ots Darva had a really good point about Windows of Opportunity I wanted to share with you right here. And let me know if you agree with him. And, and if you like Windows or if you don't like it, let me know in the comments, but I'll leave things off with Aunt Starva and his thoughts. For Windows Opportunity, I don't care about that. Chat. Windows Opportunity is a, it's like a flashlight in a student apartment. It only reveals the horrors that are already there. And without it, you may not see them. You may not gag. You may not do anything about it, but they are still there, you know? So if you are mad at Windows Opportunity as a killer main, don't be. If this perk is a symptom of the problem. This perk makes a survivor realize that, oh my god, actually, pallet, window, pallet, window, pallet, window, pallet, into main, into bunker, where I can never be killed. Cool. But if they don't have this perk, they can still use that. They can still realize it. And it's often a perk that solo players run because they don't know if their teammates have dropped the, uh, the, the shack pallet yet. So don't be upset about this perk. It, it generally isn't your enemy as a killer. The maps. The maps are your enemy as a killer. <laughs> so there you have it. I find it to be a really annoying perk. Uh, but like Odd Starva said, you know, it's really good in solo queue. Helps you realize which pallets have been used, which haven't. Use whatever you want to use. And if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.